Welcome back to Way of the Hunter. Today we're going to be out here and we're going to be actually starting over because my computer ended up deciding to take a dump at the last second. So now I had to do a restore and everything is fresh. We're literally back out here with the 30-30 lever action rifle. But let me tell you what, I am super excited to start hunting again. And let me tell you why right now. This is an incredible hunting game and I want to thank the sponsor of this video, the people of Way of the Hunter at THQ Nordic. Thank you guys so much for the opportunity to be able to play such an excellent hunting game. Now the reason that I think Way of the Hunter is an excellent hunting game is not only because of the incredible graphics, but also because of the absolute most realistic hunting experience that you feel. Here's the thing, most hunting games, like you're hunting once you get in your tree stand, right? So you gotta take your truck or your ATV, your side-by-side, -side, whatever you have, you drive all the way to your tree stand, well, let's just say like, you know, a couple hundred yards from your tree stand because you don't really want to get that close to your tree stand. But um, then you get in your tree stand and then that's when the hunt starts, right? But in this, you literally start hunting the moment you leave the lodge. And then from that point on, you are in the wilderness on your own, surrounded by nature, rivers, and pretty much anything else that you could ever imagine in the wild. I'm talking about Way of the Hunter. And it's going to give you probably one of the most realistic feelings of any hunting game out there. Way of the Hunter is a hunting simulator, and in my opinion, it's one of the best ones out there right now. Way of the Hunter is available on Steam. If you click on the link in the description, it will bring you right to the store, and you'll be able to download it down below. Way of the Hunter is available on PC, Xbox, uh, PS5, and the Xbox X series. It's also available in multiplayer as well. Way of the Hunter features regions like the US as well as Europe. Way of the Hunter also has a really cool regulation to where you can hunt the animals and taking down the smallest and the medium sized ones in the herd. That's actually gonna help you out with your gene pool and Way of the Hunter promotes ethical hunting. Now rather than me sitting there and keep telling you guys about how good this game actually is, why don't I go out and show you? Well, right here we have a nice herd of mule deer and our first herd of mule deer that we've seen so far. And what's cool about this is not only is there a bunch of mule deer out here, but one of them is a beautiful muley buck. He's a big old mature muley buck. And those are the biggest ones that you really want to get. Oh my God. <sighs> uh, you're probably wondering what in the heck I was freaking out about, but so this is what I thought happened. <laughs> We're watching the mule deer out here, right? And then as we came across closer and closer, I thought there was a giant muley buck coming towards us. I thought these right here were the points from like a 300 plus muley coming right towards us. And uh, <laughs> see, it was just like that right there. And I, I don't know why I thought so, but I mean, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be a mule deer when it's coming at you like that. It's just, uh, in this case, it's just a stump. But anyways, let's get back onto the hunt here and let's get real. Okay, so how it works is the gene pool works like this. You wanna take down the medium sized bucks and the biggest bucks only. You wanna leave the small bucks so they have time to grow and become bigger and bigger as time goes on, which is awesome. And I absolutely love that. And it's such a realistic feature. So what I usually do is only take down like kind of the giants or if I don't see those, then what I'll do is take down the medium sized bucks and continue on to the next herd. So in this case here, I know there's for surely a really nice buck out here. Um, I saw him a little while ago. He was resting out there somewhere, but I'd like to get a better look at him. And that might be him right there in the front. What's gonna happen is the big bucks are gonna be kind of darker colored than say the rest of the deer. Oh, right there. If you look really closely, you can see that deer bedded down right there. Look at how dark that deer is. He's getting up right now. You can tell that is gonna be the big buck. So you gotta look for features like that. You gotta look for big deer that are bedded down and they're smart. That's how you know it's gonna be the big buck. Now he just got up right there. 
it's still about 280 yards out and with the 30 30 lever action we're gonna want to get to at least less than 200 yards let's just say that I'm comfortable taking up up to a 200 yard shot so we'll definitely be able to do that but we also got to play the wind now you can see the wind is blowing kind of crossways directly back in our face we got to be very cautious of that because if we have the wrong wind or we're going the wrong direction with the wind blowing towards them they could all be gone and yep that's gonna be him right there the one in the back that just got up is gonna be the absolute giant muley buck right there so he's sitting out there at about 225 yards out from us he's borderline in range but we're gonna get just a little bit closer we're gonna slow down our speed a little bit here and we're gonna ease our way over that direction actually what we might have to do is go prone because we definitely do not want to spook this herd all right that's going to be about as good as we can get right there we don't want to get too close we're out in the wide open right now but there's our buck right there so we can zero in for 160. And take the shot. I think we absolutely just smoked that buck. He was quartering away. And I held right on top of the heart for 160. And man, that deer didn't even know what hit him. Is that him? Is that him? I think that might be him. All right, so it's important to know where these deer go. And when they run off, you want to hit the X button to be able to mark roughly where they went. But what's also really important is to know where they were when you first took the shot. And I know for a fact that buck was right there approaching those trees. So if we go over there, we should be able to find some good blood. All right, he was standing right about here, I'm pretty sure. And so the way to figure out where he went is you actually have to use your hunter sense. You don't have to. But I mean, the odds of you finding blood out here is super, super, super slim. It is possible. But unless you know exactly where he was standing when you took that shot, you can make for an extremely difficult time to track him. Now, eventually I did happen to find some blood, but it was very little and it was very clear red. So that indicates that it was not a vital hit. I don't exactly know why, but I got a pretty good feeling we're soon going to find out. Well, unfortunately, our shot apparently was not good enough to take down that buck. But we happen to spot him out here, and that's pretty cool as well, because if you do mess up the shot, you can potentially find that deer again and go for a second chance. I honestly don't know what we did wrong with our shot, but what I do know is the wind is starting to shift and we got to pay attention to that. So we got to shift hard right that way we swing around these deer without them noticing us. There they are right out there. About 290 yards out. They're probably going to work their way back this way and feed through this meadow, which will work out nice as long as we're in a spot where we have full cover. This is a hunting simulation game and it's a lot of fun one thing about it though is it definitely requires a super beefy pc because if you don't have a really good pc you're gonna be struggling on the graphics quite a bit that's just my personal opinion i mean i have a pretty decent pc i'm running a 2060 rtx right now which has 16 gig of ram so i'm pretty good in the storage it's just, uh oh, let's climb back up. All right, guys, we just slid on over and take a look right out there. We got to 150 yards out from that massive muley buck. Holy, he's actually way bigger than what I thought. Oh my God. This time we better make a perfect shot. Holy. All right, here we go. We're still zeroed in for 160. So we're set up. Perfect. All we gotta do is wait for him to step out. All right, guys. Oh, that's him. Okay, I see him now. Holy, that's a beast of a buck. He's stepping out. He's stepping out. Oh, my God. He's stepping out. That's him. Smoked him. He's absolutely hammered. Tell you what. 
Oh my god, I wanted to shoot him again. I'm gonna. I'm definitely shooting him again. Get him, get him, get him, get him! Yes, he's hit again! Oh my god. I mean, just the rush and the excitement of this. It's hard to explain. It really is. And the reality of it as well. Okay. So hopefully he doesn't cross here. If he crosses here. He's down, baby! Yes! What a giant buck! Holy, what a giant. And not only just a giant, an absolute super tough buck. We hit that thing three times. Three times. Finally got up to 150 yards and drilled him again. Should have definitely hit lung, but he just kept on going. Now, I know the 3030 is not the most powerful rifle, and it's definitely by far from the powerfulest rifle in game, but it can still definitely take down a deer for sure. That's one thing about this also is you got to be an excellent tracker to be able to play because you could easily lose your animal and then he's gone. Oh, right there. Oh my God, we found him. I actually went around too far. I crossed that whole river and he's right in the middle of this island here. Wow, what an incredible buck guys. What an incredible buck. Let's go over here and go take a look at this beauty. Oh, wow. Oh man, that is awesome. That is absolutely incredible. Let's take a screenshot of that. Just like that. All right, guys. Now, let's pick him up and find out not only how big he is, but how many times we actually did hit this thing. All right, so it does in fact show that we hit this thing three times. And that right there is why you gotta compensate for the wind. That shot cost us this giant buck because of the wind. <sighs> like we were centered perfectly. He was quartering away. And I remember I was holding it right on the top of the heart. I was holding right here, but the wind pushed it wide left and we got him in the top part of the neck. All right, so now we understand that shot. Now the second shot was absolutely perfect. Double lung shot, couldn't have been much better. He was absolutely smoked and it still didn't take him down because he's such a big, tough old buck. And what's cool about this is the bullet cam, it literally will show you at the exact point of impact and then you hit play and you can scroll around to be able to see what angle that bullet actually uh, passed through at. So you can see here, we probably came out on the opposite side of the shoulder and I doubt it went through that. It probably stopped to be honest. 30-30, there's no way you're going through that shoulder blade. <laughs> yeah, no, look at that. It stopped right at that shoulder blade. All right, now that we know all that, let's take a look at our third and final shot. No freaking way. Oh, 155 yards on the run, and we double lunged him with the 30-30. What an excellent shot, guys. Wow. That's probably my best shot that we've made so far in playing um, Way of the Hunter. That is an incredible shot. In fact, that's so good that I want to go back and show you guys or take a look at that shot. All right, so now that we saw all that, <laughs> we saw how tough and how big this giant buck was. Let's take a look now and find out how big he really was. So he's a four star and he's going to score 365. Holy, that's a giant. That is an absolute monster, monster buck. And I am so glad to have him. What an incredible journey that was right there. But man, just a rush alone. Like I can go back to moments in my life where I've had the exact same thing happen. Not necessarily me, but I was hunting with my dad and a big buck jumped up between me and him and he was shooting at it, didn't get a good enough shot, but then we tracked it down, jumped it up again and we ended up getting it, you know? And it's just moments like that where that's what just makes it all amazing. We hit him three different times. The only thing is that first shot there 
We got a little bit robbed because the wind pushed it. But that was kind of my bad. And I also got a little distracted too. We didn't have a ton of time. He was about to get into those trees there and he would have been long gone. So I kind of got on him and didn't even think about compensating for the win, even though I said I was going to. If we would have, he was quartering away like this and I would have held here, right? Because even if we did hit here, we'd still hit liver and double lung. But what would have happened is the wind would have pushed it and we would have hit like right here and we would have absolutely smoked that buck. We definitely got him. And he is one impressive buck at that. Now, what we could do is get him mounted, or we could sell him for $403. Now, because he's the biggest buck that we've ever seen, we are definitely going to get this thing mounted. All right, we got another herd of deer out here, and I can't exactly tell if that's a white teal or what. It kind of appears to be one. We're looking at about 300 yards out here. And another thing about this that I like so much is the fact that you do have the ability to take super long distance shots. And not only that, it will actually show you roughly where you're gonna hit. So we're looking at about 350. I'm gonna zero in for 320. Smoked him. Dude, that shot was absolutely money. There is no way that buck is going far. Let's watch him. There he is right there. That's probably our farthest shot that we've taken with the 30-30. And as you saw, they still run a long ways with the double lung hit. So we gotta pay extreme attention to this buck. There he is right there, I see him running. I lost sight of him right there somewhere. All right, so we're gonna mark our last spot right there where we saw that buck. But you could see the point of impact over there at 300 yards and that's what i love about way of the hunter is the fact that you do have the ability to take super long distance shots we took one the other day at almost 1000 yards and you could see the exact spot of impact All right, so the good part is that he was standing right on this road, and that is vital hit. 350-yard long shot with a 30-30 lever action right there. So it does, in fact, show you that it's definitely possible to go for that far of a shot. We would have smoked that first buck had we compensated for the wind. Now here it's saying medium amount of blood, air bubbles, time to expire slow. That basically means we only got a single lung or it means that we hit a little bit high. If we hit a little bit high, we're not gonna get as much blood. And uh, the fact that it says it's only gonna go zero to 54 yards is a pretty good sign though. So we already have blood there. We have blood here and then here's some blood. There's some good blood. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're looking for. Good blood here, good blood here, dude. This is so freaking cool. The fact that there's blood on top of the rock. Oh, I love that. There's blood there, blood there, blood here. And this is where we last tracked him to, or we last saw him right here, I should say. Is that blood? So that's the last spot of blood right here. But what's interesting, oh, here. There's blood right here. It looks like... Oh my god, he's piled up right here. I was gonna say, it looks like he ran through that tree and then kept going, but I can literally see all the way around here and I don't see any sign of this deer. And we come over the ridge and there he lays. Right there. He's actually not a half bad looking buck. Now that we're getting close to him, it looks to be a mule deer. Kind of like a white tail shaped rack, but... Let's pick him up and find out how we did. Ended up getting, in fact, a double lung shot at 300 yards with the 30-30. So it's definitely possible to take pretty far shots with the 30-30, as long as you compensate for it just right and check the wind. Let's find out what it was. It was actually an adult, so that's perfect. That's what we want. And we'll end up getting 400 cash for that muley. Now we finally have some money. But with that, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and you'll definitely be able to enjoy playing this hunting game as well. If you click in the link down below, it will bring you right to the Steam page, and you'll be able to find Way of the Hunter. I recommend it. It's, it's a lot of fun. But make sure you got a good enough PC, or if you play on console, then 
I guess you're you're fine too, but that's gonna be it. Hopefully you guys have an amazing week so far, and we'll see you next time. Whatever that is, it's definitely a giant. Oh my god, that might be a muley. But it's huge. 350 yards out. We might have to take a walking shot here, guys. Oh my god, we freaking smoked him. Oh, did you see that shot?